Hey folks, this is Ask Science here, and in this video we'll be talking about cohort studies. Uh, this this specific series about cohort studies will be taught will be I think about three to four videos long, and we'll be talking about all sorts of things from disadvantages, advantages, what are cohort studies, and then in the end to see if you know how we can uh, analyze correlations in cohort studies. So what are cohort studies? They are studies where the intervention and control group are followed over time. This is a key, uh, key point to note specifically for cohort studies. The, the time could be whatever type of uh, measurement you need. So it could be a few months, it could be a few years, whatever is necessary for your study to to, to kind of work out. Exposure is usually decided by the groups themselves, not by the researchers. This is also a key uh, distinction that I think a lot of people don't really understand. So in terms of the exposure, meaning the, the thing that you want to correlate something with, this, this is, you know, when they're talking about a population, the researchers themselves are not separating the groups. The researchers are simply cataloging uh, because the groups have already been separated by themselves. Okay, and I think if you didn't understand that, we'll we'll be going over a more better visualized version of it uh, soon. So just stay tuned. And lastly, uh, after all of that, the outcomes are measured in both the groups, and then we kind of ask the question: Is there a correlation between the exposure and the outcome? And so you can run a few types of analysis on that, and you can essentially get the answer to that for a whole cohort study. It should be noted that in a cohort study, we cannot really look at causation. So the exposure, we can't really say that the exposure or, or, the, or, or something, just whatever it is, caused this outcome to happen. We, we can only say that there was a correlation, not a causation. Okay, that is probably the most important thing. If you didn't watch this video or if you want to skip the video, just remember that a correlation is, uh, is it, a cohort study is, co is correlation. It's not causation. That's the most important thing. Okay, so let's try and get some sort of an idea, a visualized idea about how a cohort study can work. So let's say you're a scientist or a researcher and you want to do a cohort study about something and how do you start? So you get a population and specifically you get a population of people who do not have the outcome. So you're going to ask maybe what's the outcome? Well, you know, it could be whatever it is, you know, in, in uh, for example, in an epidemiological study, it could be something like a disease. Right? Does this population of people have this disease? So, first, you want as a researcher, you want to see, you want to make sure that whoever you're trying to research do not already have the outcome or do not have already have the disease. Then the, the researcher is going to see, um, and remember, he doesn't do this distinction. The distinction, you know, the groups have already made, you know, have already naturally. Uh, separated themselves out. The, the researcher will simply just catalog it. Okay? So he's going to get a sample of people who were exposed to something and a sample of people who were not exposed to something. And then, this is where the follow-up comes in. After he gets that, he allows uh, the two types of people to run along over a period of, you know, uh, some time. It could be a few months, it could be a few years. And then at the end, you check for the outcome. And from this uh, outcome, you can see, you can kind of make the question, you know, did this exposure uh, correlate to this outcome? So, so if more people were exposed to something, does that mean that there was more uh, a disease outcome? You know, so it was this uh, exposure a correlation to this outcome? Okay, so we, we can give an example to that. Let's say you are a researcher talking about, uh, you know, factory workers. 
okay? And you want to talk about specifically your research is about, uh, you know, does some sort of training, which is your exposure, which is right here, does some sort of, the, does this training uh, uh, prevent the outcome, which is workplace injury, okay? So if you're a researcher, you start from here, you get a population of factory workers, a population specifically without workplace injuries, which is the outcome, as you can see up here, to kind of help you guys out. This, uh, the, the groups themselves, again, are separated out, and the, the researcher simply records the two types of, you know, the two separations and gets the sample of people on one end who have received the exposure, which in this case is training for injury prevention, and on the other hand, he'll get some people who did not receive this training, okay? And then he'll allow these people and he'll follow up with these people over a period of time, and it could be a few months, it could be five years, it could be 10 years, and he'll, it doesn't matter. The point is he'll follow up, and in the end, he'll check for the outcome. The outcome is injuries, whether or not they got workplace injuries or not. And so in the end of this, he'll, see, he, he'll be able to see, well, if you receive the training and then if you got less injuries, so if the, if the people who received training got less injuries overall, then that means that there is some sort of a correlation. And so uh, you can run a, you know, you can run some analyses on it and uh, you can kind of figure a lot of stuff out with cohort studies. And uh, in the end of the day, remember, you know, if you've, j just to kind of put this in, into your head, if you have received the training, and if a lot of people have received the training, and a lot of them, you know, there's no injuries for them, you know, then you cannot say that this receiving the training caused no injuries, caused the, the no outcome. You can only say that there was correlation. That, that that receiving this training correlated to no injuries. Cannot say it caused no injuries, okay? There's a big distinction there. So a few examples in the real world. The cohort studies are very, very practical. There's one very famous one, which is the Nurses' Health Study established in 1976. You guys can I really encourage you to check this one out because uh, it had a lot of practical uses and it's very, very popular. And uh, I just have another one, uh, just in case you're curious, you know, of a, of a very kind of, frankly, a generic uh, cohort study that you could use uh, to try and help you understand a little bit better. Now remember, this is the first video and the following videos will probably go more in depth with cohort studies so stay tuned and uh, hope to see you guys soon. Thanks.